know many people are dreading autumn and winter because it becomes cold and dark outside, but today I'll be sharing some self-care tips that can maybe help you to think of this season as rather cozy and actually quite beautiful. You can do this routine whenever you need it, on a Friday night, a weekday where you maybe have the day off or anything that fits your life. I start this day exercising because I use regular exercising as a tool for feeling more calm and of course to stay healthy and in good shape. But mainly my weekly exercising has proven to be very effective for my anxiety and my all over mood. So if I'm having a bad day, I know that even 20 to 30 minutes of exercising can really lift my mood. I did a blog post with my at-home workout routine a couple of months back, so do make sure to check that out if you want to. I'll link it here on the screen and in the description box below. At the moment, I'm not committed to any gym, so I do all my exercising at home. I've bought a cross trainer secondhand through my sister, and then we invested in just a little amount of workout gear. So it doesn't have to require a lot, except of course some space where you can put the equipment. Once I'm done working out, I like to just sit on the floor a few minutes with the window open, stretch, take a few deep breaths and inhale the fresh air from the outside. The feeling I have in my body is so great after working out, which makes these next steps even nicer to do. I either take a hot bath in our tub or a shower like I did today. By the way, I'm using a plastic-free and organic shampoo bar. I really want to try the ones from Ethique, since this one doesn't really suit my hair type that well. But I really love the idea of creating less waste in hair care. While I'm in the shower, I use my safety razor. Again, a plastic-free and eco-friendly alternative to the regular razor. After that, I use my absolute favorite multi-purpose oil from Meraki. And you'll be surprised to see how many things you can use this wonder for. I use it instead of body lotion, just make sure to wear a robe and let it dry completely before you get dressed. When it comes to face care, I like to keep my routine pretty simple. I use a series from Dama, which is a Danish brand that you can get in most supermarkets. It's organic and it has, I think, all health certifications, so no perfume, parabens or color. So I used the face wash in the shower and now I'm just removing my eye makeup with a reusable cotton pad with the oil I just mentioned before. So it works as a makeup remover as well, which is pretty awesome. Next, I'll be making a super fast and easy face scrub, again using the oil from Meraki. I told you I use this oil for so many things. I'm taking some coffee grounds from our espresso machine from this morning and you only need a tiny amount and then I'm mixing it with the oil. And that's it. You'll have a completely natural and plastic free scrub that you can also use on your hands and other areas of your body. I even use it on my lips and it just makes my skin so soft and it removes dead skin cells just as any other face group. Recently I started using my Dama Roller again after I took a break a couple of months. And this is just a wonder for my skin. My skin is far from perfect. I have suffered a lot from acne in my teen years and I still get breakouts every now and then, but this really keeps breakouts to a minimum and it makes my skin a lot smoother. I'll link a blog post for you guys where I explain exactly how it works. So check that out here on the screen or in the description box below if you want to know more about this demo roller. It helps me to keep my consumption of other beauty products on a minimum because it just works wonders on my skin itself. Once I'm done with the Damarola, I make sure to boil some hot water, just a little bit to pour over it and kill any bacteria. And then it's important to nourish your skin afterwards, so I'm just gonna use my organic face cream from Dama.
I'm just gonna put on some comfy and cozy clothes and then continuing with my hands. I have another reusable cotton pad that I use to remove nail polish with, so I'm just gonna clean up my nails and then wash the cotton pad afterwards. I wash these cotton pads in the machine once a week either at 60 or 95 degrees and I am so happy about these. No more disposable cotton pads. And again, I'm pulling out my multi-purpose oil from Meraki and using it on my cuticles, maybe taking some time shaping my nails with a file. I just want to say that Meraki had nothing to do with this video. They didn't sponsor it or anything like that. I just really, really love this oil. I love multi-purpose products like this. Like I said in the beginning, I sometimes like to stress off by taking a bath in our tub, but since I already showered, I'll just make a nice foot bath instead using this wonderful organic and all natural lavender bathing salt. That's basically all I do to my feet. Maybe I'll give myself a pedicure sometimes as well. So while I was having a relaxing foot bath, I had my lunch salad and watched some TV. Just very cozy and relaxing. This would also be a nice time to have a cup of tea, maybe some healthy snacks, some fruit and maybe read a good book. Last but not least, I hung out our bed covers in fresh air and I left them there all day so that they were nice and fresh before bedtime. I'm telling you guys, after a round of pampering like this, you'll sleep like a baby. <laughs> So that's it, I hope this inspired you to recharge your batteries in a simple and eco-friendly way at the same time. So take good care of yourselves and I hope to see you all on Sunday. Bye guys!